today I had a lot of video conferences and phone calls. The first way that all of these conversations started was a check-in. How are you doing? How are you handling everything? Number one, I think that is great and certainly shows a lot of empathy and I think also the state that everyone's in right now. But one of the items that it also brought up is business sin number 16, which is isolation. The biggest concern that everyone has is certainly for family members, especially more elderly uh, family members that may be living alone. But it also is a concern for young people that perhaps are living alone in very small spaces and how to make sure that they're not feeling completely isolated. So um, on a call with my friends Scott and Laura, we had some ideas for things that we could do to make sure that we keep these people feeling connected. Number one is to make sure that you do an actual video conference where you actually can see the person on the other side. And it could be something like a virtual book club where you still have your glass of wine and carry on the chit chat that sometimes happens at the book clubs that aren't necessarily completely related to reading the book. One of the uh, other ideas is using your hands to actually do an activity that you also could share with people, whether it's via video conference or uh, some other way. It could be things like, for me, I know I've talked about it several times, knitting, uh, but it could be other things too, perhaps playing with Legos, etc., and being able to find groups of people that also would like to do that. And I bet if you put a question out in social media, you would find at least five people that were interested in joining. Use free tools that are out there to be able to share these experiences. Certainly Google is a great one to be able to do video conferencing with and for the most part it supports these types of things really well. There are many other tools out there and perhaps you even have an idea of one that you'd like to recommend. Be sure to share that with us. How have you been feeling? Are you feeling isolated even if you live with someone else? If so, how can we help? Let's make sure to band together and keep everyone as involved as we can and keep them from feeling isolated. Don't forget to join me back here where I'll be sharing another business sin. And don't forget to make sure you're taking care of yourself, washing your hands, and supporting your local community.